How about some tunes? We've got some great tunes for you this morning. Bang out a few tunes. Yeah, he's really, he's just like his tunes. Good tunes, good brew, good buddy. He said I dig your groovy tunes, man. I mean, Led Zeppelin didn't write tunes that everyone liked. Hey, what happened to the tunes, man? Thank you, Dark Continent. Good night. Thank you, Roger. That was lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, that was another random-ass rendition from... Roger Y, ladies and gentlemen, Roger Y, and now he's playing you like a fool. Is what the fuck I'm doing, son? What up? How dare you? Now look at the camera. You think you can just now look at the control me like a uh, uh, some kind of? I was hoping you were like going to go ro- with a it. robotic I Steven. Really, I was really hoping you were going to go with it when I said it. Tried to cue you in and everything. Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Thanks for being real, bro. You were a real one. Uh, I was. I bailed out on that one. You did. I didn't. Support you didn't go. You didn't go full send. You went full bail. Yeah. Full bail. You went full <laughs> Christian bail. That'll teach you next time to have fun. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, Tim does that part, but I feel like I should do more sometimes. So, hello and welcome to Good Tunes, home of the Good Tunes. I'm Roger Y. This is the main host, Timmy Good Tunes. And today, we're going to be talking about the fifth track on the Love Iowa EP, entitled, Tim. Three sides to every story. My side, his side, and you got it. Your motherfucking side. So, let's dive right into it. How was your day, man? <laughs> what you, what you get into today? How was work? Uh, uh, I, was... I don't have a job. Okay. Uh, okay, so really that's good. Much. Uh, I walked my dog. Uh, okay. It's, well, fi- it's finally nice out. Responsibilities. So did did, did you dog. leave it on any, like, shitty neighbors? Well, I'm like, let the shit just be there? No, I clean up. All right. Every good for time. you. Every time. You got him yeah. in other ways. You well, save yeah. all the shit, and then it all comes out no, of one. No, 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 no. See, I'm trying just trying to stack up on that good karma, you know? Okay, word, word, word. Trying to play real. Yeah. Be real. Trying to play Rio? I would love to play Rio. I want to play Rio de Janeiro. That's what I'm saying. I want to play with real, real big fish. I don't want to play real big fish. I just do it because they probably have a big crowd and it'd be worth it. That's a good point. <laughs> I want to play with like, yo, I want to play with fish. I want to play with real big fish. I want to play with kingfish. <laughs> all the fishes, bro. Break them all. Flounder, yeah. get his ass in here. Ariel. The flounder? The entire cast of Little Mermaid. <laughs> get them all in here. Sam on. Sam on. <laughs> Sam on. Sam on. Sam on. Sam off. Oh, my God. You know, you know how it goes. North, this is North Pacific Cod. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on Pandora. We're on Spotify, YouTube, Deezers. Apple. All that stuff. Apple Podcasts. I cast. Overcast. <laughs> Overcast. Um, we're on the, uh, the Weather Channel. Mm-hmm. You can catch us on Discovery right after BattleBots Thursday nights at 10. I've been watching a lot of BattleBots, man. I like turned it on one night because I'm like, yo, this shit looks ridiculous. And I was like, this is fucking awesome. Recently? Oh, dude, I've been, I remember, got it. Remember I got when into it, it like two months ago. Day, I never took it seriously, like fully yeah. until recently. Yeah. And like some of the people were so like just out there, like corny as shit. But I'm out there corny as shit. So I'm like, this is hilarious. Is the like, technology better? Yeah. I mean, some of the bots look badass as fuck. And like they just, you know, the engineering behind it, I can never do it. Right. But, like some of the stuff, like they come out, like this one dude's like mad cocky. It's like, Easy guy or still a nerd. Like, yeah, don't yeah, don't yeah. come out here like some old man acting like you're going to fight somebody for real. It's your robot. Yeah. Don't take it too seriously. Right. And some people are like funny with it. Like, there's this one that's called like Scorpios or something. And they're like, like, I, I picture like Dodge. Like, dude, but I'm addicted, man. I went back to like season, I think there's like, they're on season six or something. Whatever it is, but I'm I went back to like season three and I watch all the fucking reruns at night, like after practice and shit. Yeah. I'll go in there and like just hash out like two or three fucking battle bots episodes. Nice. Yeah. Spin on that kick, man. Nice. You think you'll you'll ever want to build a battle bot? I would, man. I actually would. It's like they're expensive as shit though. Like some of them they're like twenty like grand into it. So I don't know that I would want to do that. Right. But like if I ever like definitely if I ever like came into like a significant amount of money. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if I ever hit the lottery, I would definitely take, like, a couple mil and, like, go to whatever, like, actually, like, I went to Howell High, and I think they actually had a robotics team there, and I was always, like, like, I would go back, just, like, donate it to the school, and be like, yo, go kill everybody until you get, like, some high school kid, like, run up with a kid all the, you know, from the time he's in high school all the way until he's, like, whatever, grown-ass man, and then right. just sponsor the team. I just, like, I would, I would just give all the credit to the dudes doing the work. I just want to fund it. And like right. go to the things and just be like chilling, like owning yeah. like a battle lot, Steve. I think that'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, it's like owning a NASCAR team. Yeah, or something like that. You just have to, like the guys do it. Yeah, You're just owning a business. But I would again. never be like that dude, like down there, like in the championship, like the owner, like shaking the hand, like yeah, you guys did you the didn't. work, like get yeah, out there. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like just, I'm just let well, me. Well, be. well, you say that now. 
No, dude. You, you don't know think me. you'll become jaded by then? No. No. Is it pun intended? I'm going to get jaded later, bro. Nice. You get real nice. Real Dan's nice. Dan's going to beat me to it. Real nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Oh, not yeah. with that die. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, that's just that's, that's a deep cut. That's that's deep that's, cut. that's the whoop inside joke trail right there. Yeah. But only the band knows that yeah. shit. Just a little breadcrumb, when then, and then we'll leave another breadcrumb in the next episode, <laughs> and so on and so forth. That's then, it. Speaking of crumbs, bro. If Sal brings a, Sal, if you're bringing cookies here ever again like that, I keep getting my fucking garage infested. With it was mice. literally like he was just dropping <laughs> off garbage. He was like, "I don't want this." Yeah, he was just you like cookies. They're like. They were like good. They were like okay. They tasted like really. I think they were going for a healthy thing, and like you could tell that they were going chalky. for chalky because they're really chalky, and like yeah. ch- really chewy and like tough. Yeah, you know, like a like, like a fucking unenjoyable. Well, like a you know, like a sports bar. Yeah, like you know, pre workout, whatever the fuck, post workout, whatever the fuck, gooey, gummy, yeah. like chewy. Well, actually, bro, there's some that are like really good, and well, you should try. It. Well, you didn't give us those to eat. No, <laughs> he definitely didn't. No, I don't even know what the brand. It was like, I don't know. I just don't. I don't want them in the garage anymore. Sal, if you're watching, just keep your fucking cookies. Sorry, buddy. Time. Nobody wants your fucking cookies. <laughs> I love that we shout out Sal. Take that to the bank. I love that we shout out Sal like every episode because <laughs> you know he's gonna see it. He's he's our, um, you know, he's a, he's a, he's our third side to the story. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. When we said you guys were really just when you Sal. look at the world and life through the microscope of Sal, <laughs> I mean, you can't even get into it. I can't even. You literally, and people say like, "Oh man, I can't even imagine." Oh man, I can't. There are some <laughs> things that you're talking about that, yeah, you could probably imagine that. Right, like right. you have a pretty good imagination, even if you're an idiot. But like that, no. <laughs> Bro, Brainiac couldn't figure that out, <laughs> man. Like, that's my life man. now. Injustice 2 and BattleBots. That's it. That's good. You can and it and music, of course. Never They're making a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game. It's going to be a side-scroller, like the old-school game. What? It's called Shredder's Revenge. Dude. Get the fuck out. When's the release date? I don't know. Tell me Easter, bro. Yo, my birth- I'll let you know. My birthday falls on Easter Tell this year. Easter, bro. Resurrect the motherfucking turtles on my birthday. Yeah. Oh my dope, god, right? dude. And they're working on a movie on too. There should be like a new movie within like two years, I think. I never saw any Live of the action. new ones because I was so attached to the old ones that I didn't yeah. want to like risk ruining it. Yeah. They're fun. They're stupid. Yeah. It ain't Shakespeare. You know? True. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to make it cool. Because like yeah. they are teenagers. So like But it is a high make... bar for the especially the first one back in the day, like with that. Casey was, like, Jones. Drama. Like when they were like yeah. all after they all talk about talk with the ghost uh of Splinter. Splinter. Yeah. And like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Brian, yo, Michelangelo, like getting serious and like, yeah, to see him, yeah, like, serious, is like, it, oh. yeah, because it's like, shit ain't right, dude. <laughs> yeah, you always have like those different personality roles in any kind of group, and it's like the first oh shit is when you see like the leader who's like always tough, kind of like breakdown. You're like, all right, you know, he's a tough dude though. You can let it out every once in a while, and you're like, but you're like kind of like if this dude's panicking, what the fuck? But when you see the class clown. Not only that, but like Being, I think even the youngest brother, right? Yeah, I think so. Like they treat him as though he's the littlest, youngest. He, like oh, he's the one bouncing around. He's like, like Gronk, bro. Like yeah, I know you're not a sports guy, but like Gronkowski, like I know Gronk, he's yeah. just like total like frat blue. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> just like he's like the teenage non-alcoholic version. Right, right, right. You know? So it's like, oh man, the little kid found out about the yeah. the, the terrible thing, and he's crying. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, like what the fuck, dude? Yeah, yeah, like innocence. Yeah, be taken, taken away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we grew up like literally grew up with them. Yeah, that, but that movie's so good. That first movie's so good. Yeah, it really is. Two is like has its moments where it's corny, but I still enjoy it. Two, when you go Raph, back, it's me, Keto. Me, Keto. Fuck it, fucking legend. And, and then like, and like, two. what's his name? They don't, they, they don't use their weapons. They don't use the sword. They just like have them on their backs. Like they never use them. Like yeah. they're always like doing like. Like that's the like, one part about like up. like the comics type. Like stuff that I, I just like don't like. Like, I mean, you can only fight somebody like that many times, like weapons, and and nobody dies ever. Like, come on, yeah. so somebody's eating shit at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, if you had real villains, like, and I saw, think about like your average criminal dude. If you saw four dudes that you thought were just dressed as turtles coming out you with a fucking machete and a side and a bow staff and nunchucks, what are you gonna do if you have a gun on you? All four of those turtles are done. 
There's no way. There's, I don't care how good of a ninja. There's a uh, there's a really cool comic book storyline uh, with the the turtles called um, Ronin. Okay. Where, oh, dude, I've heard of this. Okay. Yeah. So like, it just drops you into where all but one of the turtles are dead. Right. And like, you don't know which turtle is alive until like the end. Right. Like, and then like, I guess he's like trying to avenge his uh, brothers and stuff like that. And like, like the big reveal is like which one we're actually because you're reading it, so you can't hear the voice. You can't like, you know. Wow. wow. So you just have to like find out at the end. I haven't read it, but I think it's a really cool idea, and I think it's a dope idea for like a movie if you really wanted to change the game yeah do that like they're all dead yeah and like that's fucking crazy yeah because I, mean, and I think now would be the time because think about it like when was it released like 88 especially when you got like snyder that's time, he's, he's killing off all of his fucking people yeah. like you know like he's like he, he would kill them. i think it would make sense people. because like <laughs> it might be it might be too dark for like the younger generation getting introduced in the newer version of the turtles and whatnot but for people our age like we grew up with it i feel like we're most of us that like you're still into like that kind of stuff wouldn't mind seeing the dark or alternate perspective of it right right. i think it would sell like i'm surprised that no one's thought to do it after hearing it out loud yeah man uh but they are coming out with a new one and uh should be dope and then that video game i was saying it's a side scroller old school style like 32 bit like 8 bit fucking style so so we should expand the horizon and do like a review on that game and a review <laughs> on that movie and we'll get three sides to the story we'll see what well, you I thought d- about it what I thought about it I and thought then we'll about drop it. a comment yeah I had nothing to drop man I was just waiting can you put like some like real it's about, as me- it's about what it sounds like in our comment section yeah true much. true <laughs> can you put some like if I do this and go <laughs> with like a boom can can you like film that issue like that? Boom or more like a... Something like Batman meets like Wiley e. Coyote, like real old corny, like boom, like little flash like thing. Adam West Batman. Yeah, Adam West Batman. Like when he's got the rubber shark hanging on his fucking leg. That shit's hilarious. Shark repellent spray. Yeah, yeah, dude. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> That's up there with battle bots. <laughs> That's up there with battle. Bots. It is, man. That's like one of my go tos. <laughs> I'm just like melted into my couch and i'm just like yeah dude old school batman let's do this <laughs> so let's get into it three sides to every story uh yes we have no idea what part is what in the song this song this song is called 13 parts this is the song i was telling you about in that previous episode where ali said that she was saying completely different things oh really <laughs> The idea was her to just repeat what I said, but she ended up saying completely different things. I didn't even notice until, like, years later. Oh, really? <laughs> A lot of vocal background work on this song. Yeah. The final one to wake up is what I'm saying. But she's saying the final one to lay down. I always thought it was the final one to let it go. <laughs> Three sides. <laughs> then we then we kind of took that line from signals on the seas. Really? The, the sun, the sun. And I gave you the love, and I gave you the sun. Hey? No, I think I made that one. Oh, all right. I never listened to signals to like ever. Oh, yeah. We definitely used shit like Gunner definitely like double dip. Yeah. What I remember.
I never listened to this one, man. I forgot like all these parts and like it all comes back to me. That I remember. The shower. Here's all the one-liners. This random ass fucking thing. <laughs> Fucking Latin. What does it mean again? Is that I what it means? Yes, something about the universe oh, of honesty or something like that. I'm the, something of truth. Wow. It was like a, a V for Vendetta thing. Oh, okay. That always remind, reminded me of a funeral for a friend vibe. Yeah. I don't know why. It, just, it reminds me of like the smell of that. I can't remember which one though. I can see that. Yeah. So much going on. Because these hands won't hold the both of us. That was a signals thing. Okay. Because these hands won't. That's called cross promotion, boys yeah. and girls. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. And then Rob did the, the such a genius part. He thought of Rob. What loop is this? To... I'm pretty sure it was his idea. He just like repeat this shit. I because when I, when I, heard, I didn't know we were doing that until the CD was already done. When I got in, I heard that. I was like, "Oh man, oh, that's really? fucking dope!" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I remember. Yeah, he's got a great ear, man. He really does. I can't wait to make more fucking music. I can't wait to make more fucking. Music. We're doing it right now, guys. Just clap all in random times, times. So that song, like three times to every story, is like like I was saying how I wanted to make like a, a like a movie, like kind of like stage production of all these songs because that that song kind of lends to that because it's a lot of like yeah. he said, she said this, like kind and like Kevin's kind of like the narrator, Ergo, the, the, na- name. the narrator yeah. of it all. And stuff I remember, like that. I remember saying that yeah. having it like the narrator. Yeah, I love that man. I think that's so fucking cool shit. Loose idea. I liked it. So, see, guys, we write with purpose sometimes. Every once in a while, we fall into that hole. I wonder. I wonder if my AI is doing okay. <laughs> you know, out of all the holes you want to fall into, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget that uh, all the links to these songs are in the description. Jack box Links, of, of... another one of our sponsors, as well as Puma. And sex wax. So make sure you <laughs> click those Dropbox links so you can get those songs. Uh... <laughs> Do you really ever put those links? I feel like I've tried to find them and they're not there. You haven't tried to find them. That's a good point. <laughs> you lying. Fair. Piece of shit. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> Yo, what's for the record? So like, I have these songs from Love Isla on my Apple Music. But like you can't download them from there anymore. I'm being told. I actually had a friend from work text me today and be like, "Yo, what's up? You took these off of Apple?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" And like, I was, it was dope. Like, he hasn't even seen the podcast. I don't think he even knows that we, we have a podcast. That's right. terrible promotion on my end. But yes, terrible. But likewise, he knows now. And but, like, <laughs> but the fact that like somebody thought, "Yo, let me listen back to Love Island." Like, holy fuck, dude. Yeah. I was like, "Oh no, shit, that's yeah. ironic." Uh, you gotta keep, my boy Dave. You gotta keep paying for it to be hosted there. I guess, um, you know, like, uh, did we ever like get CD any money from any of that CD shit? Baby and stuff like that. Do we have like an account somewhere that has like three dollars and ninety one cents in it or something? Yeah, and apparently, uh, from what I saw from CD Baby, uh, Eric made at least like two withdrawals. So I guess he didn't give you any of that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe I, he did. I don't know. Because at one point, at one point, we bought more merch, and I feel like we might have taken it for that. But I mean, that's Waco. What about Love Isla? Or did we just roll one over into the other? Oh, um, that I don't know. I haven't touched that. Well, that's what I'm know. saying. Like, no there might that. be shit in there. And then, maybe. like, just use it to, like, put it back up so that people can download it. Maybe, maybe, if I get, uh, maybe I'll try to get into the email or something. Like, I'm just saying like, we could put it out for people to actually hear. Because like... I know me. Like, I don't know. Like, what's your, your preferred platform of listening to music? You just YouTube shit? Uh no, I've been doing Pandora a lot lately. I'm just not, I'm not trying to do a subscription thing to be honest with you. So yeah. like uh if I find something on Pandora, I'll just buy it on iTunes. Yeah. 
No, I, I, agree. I don't like to consume that much anyway. I like to kind of just linger on the same sh- shit over and over again. It's just like what I do. Okay. So, I, like, getting like a subscription to to, to just see. I'm to, always looking for like new just shit to, just to yeah. get like one idea but, and like yeah. spaz. And out. I should because this is the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> That's all right. That's why you keep bringing your album covers, and I'll keep bringing the new bands, and we'll go from there. Exactly. Exactly. And I'll keep bringing the sponsors. Yeah. Unless you want to start nostalgic episodes if we do. Yeah. So. Any other sponsors you want to shout out? Uh, Under Armour, no, Domino but, Sugar. But, but if anybody knows of any uh, local businesses or uh, record stores, S- tattoo places or music stores, Sully think, Moore, think they'd be interested in uh, working with us. Working with us, then you know, mutual advantageous uh, endeavors. Uh, let us know. What are some other things? What about like towels? So we can like towel off in between shoots. In case we're sweaty. I don't think. I mean, everyone needs a towel, so yeah. I'm not going to say that's not for our uh, <laughs> audience. But you know, not it's primarily not something you. I would think of. I mean, like we can, I guess, if you find a towel company. Do you know a towel company? Are we going to call Martha Stewart? I mean, Snoop Dogg fucking cross promoted like that. Maybe we should think outside the box. That's true, but that's Snoop Dogg. So, so how do we become Snoop Dogg? Rachel Ray. Is she canceled yet? Oh, I don't know. I feel like, every, I, I buy I feel like her, people are canceled like every other week. I buy her dog treats. Do you really? Yeah. She likes them? They taste okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to see, to see where it goes. Yeah, I took the beat. Right, it's okay. And we'll end on that because that's terrible. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a dog. A dog no, just cut dog, it there. Like, dog. Just cut it. We're like, done? I mean, like when I said, like, uh, oh, we'll end it there. She's been like black <laughs> screen. And then we come back on. She's so like, ah. No, but for real, goodbye. No, but they're gone already because they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Should we just like... We're going to... Sal, <laughs> this is, lay down, get your head nice and nestled. It's okay to fall asleep now. Yeah. Start counting backwards from Go, 30. By the time you finish, cookies. we'll be done with this sentence. Hmm. It's time to relax now, Sal. You have a big day at work. Don't stay up watching fucking podcasts all night on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good. And uh, <laughs> this is uh, the last song. This was the last song for Love Isla. That was our Love Isla story. Thank you for uh, uh, coming with us on that journey. Coming our next, with us. Our next journey is uh, uh, Wake Up Paradise. We're going to go. No, through it's not. It's we not? Have, we have a little a little hop skip in the middle. Why? What are we doing? Letters, bro. Oh, we're going to do that? Does Dan want us to do that? I don't care. I think we should do it. We're both in it. Two okay. out of three wins. And Dan jams with us now. Okay, so uh, we had a little hiatus in between. Yeah, uh, the two where we made some heavy stuff. Well, heavy for us. Well, it wasn't anyway, like, death metal. It was not that heavy. Like, right, 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 right. Well, it wasn't in between Love Island and Wake Up Paradise. It was after. Every, oh every, shit! It was after everyone was done with Wake Up Paradise. Oh, so that was right? in between old Wake Up, new Wake Up. That yeah, was between yeah. Wake Up Two and Wake Up Three. Yeah, which is. Wait, actually, wake up one reprise. <sighs> Fuck. Well, like, not point, really. Point, point five. V, not really. V2. It's like one. Yeah, it's like one point seven five. <laughs> it's weird. We'll get into but, all. Uh, that. So I was that, wrong. We're gonna wait on that heavy if, shit. If you guys, if, basically, if you guys ever wanted us to to make uh, uh, another type of through the grayish uh, kind of uh, song, uh, that would be like the song. If you guys like, were like, oh man, there's uh, two. There's two of them. So, okay, so we'll do that one too. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there's two songs that we did with Dan, the Dan Road that we are just we, we put our vocals to. We, Roger's back on the mic, screaming his his his, his guts out. Yeah, it's correct. Uh, so that'll be fun. And then I'm just I'm just singing uh I'm just singing like I do. And that shit was, yeah. believe it or not, that shit was three years ago already. Yeah, it was 2017. Oh wow, so maybe four, four years. I don't, four, I don't know, years, but I don't know what month. Who could do math? Yeah, uh, I don't know what month. It was more of a song and not so much yeah. a, a math problem. <laughs> New science experiment. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, he was right. We're gonna get into Wake Up Paradise, my least favorite album we've ever put out. But so, what do you want to do first? You want to do that? It well, I mean, matter we have to go in chronological. No, order. It does, we don't. Don't let's, we? Let's do it your way because it goes better into what we're gonna do. Okay. For that, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate let's you, Paul. I was just, I was just saying, I was just trying to figure it out. I was like, wait, I don't think it was between that and that. No, you're you're 100 yeah. right because we definitely. Like 2017 wouldn't have been in between yeah. Love Isla and Wake Up. Yeah, that would have been really old. Meth just doesn't work, guys. Not in his brain of mine. 
Uh, so uh, thank uh, thank you for you guys for checking in, and then we'll come and uh, ho- we'll we'll do those songs that Dan wrote for us, and hopefully he'll be cool with us playing it for you guys. If he's <laughs> but, not, uh, I, we just heard that new, latest version of it, and it sounds freak, really dope. Really? Right? Yeah. Like a was that the back. latest one? Yeah, he said that was the latest mix. I okay, I mean, latest as in still made. He, did he I go mean, back and like remix it lately? He'll have to tell you. Know. Yo, we should put him on know. camera because he's gonna hate being on camera. Yeah, he's gonna hate it. Yo, tell him we have practice, and then just tell Max and uh, Sal not to show up. Yeah, and then just separately. have Dan like setting up his shit, and then just turn the camera at him over there. Like, yeah. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Can't run now. Lock all the doors. That's it. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks for uh, coming. We're good tuned. I'm um, Timmy. Good tunes. <laughs> I'm Roger Y. You guys have a fan. Subscribe and week. like and share and comment, guys. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>